isn't something that's happening in the ghettos anymore or just in inner city or big cities. This is affecting our communities. I'm not saying you're ever gonna be addicted to this drug. I'm just saying that I'm from the same town. I walked the same halls as a lot of these kids, you know I mean? It's Green Bay, Howard Swamical. I mean, they're not that different. There's a ton of other little cities in Wisconsin just like that. 10 years ago when I was in, in high school, heroin wasn't there. I have two brothers in high school right now. I'm in these schools talking to these kids, talking to these counselors. It's there. And maybe physically it's not in the high schools, but it's at the parties. Kids know where to get it. Just pay attention, you know, pay attention to your kids, who they're hanging out with, where the money's going. It's too easy just to look away and, and think it's a phase or something because they get caught and there's no going back. He was very popular in school, you know, he, you know, he was a good looking kid, he was very social, he had, he had the lifestyle, he had the money. I hung out with everyone. I always had the wrong priorities when I was in high school. I, I went to school for friends and Friday night football and, and having a good time. So I start smoking weed every day. I mean, it just grew. I, I've never found a drug I didn't like. I mean, I was a junkie long before I was ever a heroin addict. I thought he was a casual drug, drug user. I, I guess I helped enable a lot of it. You know, he did say the, all the right things and I was handing him money. It's always that excuse, well, at least I'm not, at least I'm not doing heroin. And then when I started doing heroin uh, after the oxys, it was, at least I'm not putting a needle in my arm. You know, I wanted to be the rock star. I just never wanted to play music. I was good at being an addict. I always said I could, you know, be varsity in addiction. But heroin took over everything. I mean, heroin took over everything as far as a social life, a family life, basic hygiene needs. When I would actually get up for the day, first thing you're doing is I'm walking right out of my bedroom into my bathroom and I'm cooking up dope to get high. Most of my day was spent in a bathroom by myself with blood on the wall or, or telling people that I don't feel well because I'm in there. That was half the power of heroin. To know you play with your life um, every time you use, that's a high in its own. And as long as I had a needle in my arm for that six, eight hours, life didn't matter. Tucked my long hair into my hat, threw some sunglasses on, threw a hood up in the middle of August, walked in and demanded the pills. I said, uh, don't make me take this out of my pockets. And that's why I was charged robbery with the intent to use force. For as bad as I knew my life was, I mean, I robbed a pharmacy watched myself on the news for five days going, wow, this is really bad. I'm going to prison. If they went to kicked it in that day, I was gonna go do another one. I would rather visit him every, every week in prison than I can't bury him. Too many people are burying their kids. You know, all I wanted to do was go to sleep and have the pain stop. I took my jail pants and I went in the shower, closed the shower curtain wrapped around my neck. I didn't write a note, I didn't do anything. You know, but it was my family that was my reason to stand up. You know, I remember what my father's suicide did to me. Well, it, my addiction finally brought me to my knees where all I wanted was for someone to show me a different way. From the day that, that I put the rope around my neck, I, didn't, I never thought of it again. Because every day it got a little bit better. I mean, that light got a little bit brighter. So here I am, I'm in jail, facing all this time. And I find myself laughing at things or smiling at things. Were there a lot of bad times? Yeah. But it was just that, that raw emotion again of knowing, knowing that you know you can smile, you can laugh. He's got another high in him, but he doesn't have another recovery in him. You know, he's the first to admit that this will be the end. Chances are he won't make it to prison again.